cash prize. You'll be eligible. Day at 8 p.m., right before the season four finale. Study up, quizzes! It smells like your pie is burning. Yeah. Oh, we are the close. As you guys know already, it's reality TV tonight, okay? Reality TV trivia. How many of y'all live in the moment with these shows? I see you on Twitter going crazy about The Bachelor and The Bachelorette. It's like a second life. And honestly, they really are very entertaining. Once you start, you can't stop. It's like Pringles from the TV. Okay, we thought it'd be funny to see your thoughts on some reality TV. So answer me this. What HQ host would win Big Brother? Me, Sharon, or Lauren? Hmm? Let's see what the people said. Oh, yeah. Oh, stop it. 53% of you, I would be out the first day. Yeah, I'm like, look, I can't stay in this house. It's too long. It's too much time. I need my privacy. Okay. I would love to be on Big Brother. It's such a great show. How about this one? Who's the greatest reality TV show villain? Puck, Felicia, or Richard Cage? Mm-hmm. We all got this. Sure, we set out to be a villain initially, but uh, once we learned who they really were, it was like, ew. Richard Hatch, okay. We're going to start the game. That was rude, HQ. That was rude. I was in the middle of a poll. Y'all just gonna make me all. Mm-hmm. I'm just kidding. That wasn't nobody's fault. The time ran out. Sometimes it be like that. Sometimes when the time run out, we ain't got no more time. All right, babies. Nothing to it but to HQ it. Let's get it cracking with question number one. What does Jeff Prop say in every episode of Survivor? It's good to be Jeff. Anyone? The tribe has spoken. Or get busy surviving. I, I'm gonna guess B. I don't know. I've never heard it. What's it gonna be? Sure. You had to have seen this show. It's been on for like 5,000 seasons. I mean, it is good to be Jeff, but I don't think I've ever heard him say it. Okay? When Jeff sends loses packing on Survivor at the tribal council, he usually utters, The tribe has spoken. The tribe has spoken. I wasn't lying. That's what it is. The tribe has spoken. 209,144 got it right. 5,887 of you have never seen the show. Mm-mm. I don't know what to tell you. All right, we're moving on to question number two. Yee yee. But if, before, before we do, if you want to multiply your points during tonight's game, get yourself a point multiplier. You can buy one right now if you see it on your screen. You earn points for every question that you answer correctly, okay? Points help you reach new levels. Levels give you free passes on questions. If you aren't on level 10 already, this is your shot to get there for the season four finale this Sunday. And then that makes you closer to the big money, honey. Question two. Here we go. What is the objective of The Biggest Loser? Inventing insults, losing weight, mm-hmm. or saying your heart out. What's it going to be? I know that. I read an article. Uh, <sighs> maybe the Biggest Loser is such a cruel, cruel name. And seemingly a very unhealthy show. The main concept is, of course, to lose weight. That is the main conceit of the show. 215,127. Losing weight. Feeling great. I gave up on keto because we had pasta today on set. I was like, yeah, keto is not for me, though. Nom, 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 nom. Here we go. Q3, babies. Which model hosts Top Chef? Padma Lakshmi, Tyra Banks, or Heidi Klum? Talk about Top Chef, y'all. I be feeling like Top Chef sometimes. I get home from doing comedy 4 o'clock in the morning. And I'm like, what do I have in the fridge? Tyra started hosting before it was cool, right? She set the stage for Heidi and Padma. Ah, yes. They followed in her footsteps, specifically for Padma and Top Chef. Padma Lakshmi is the host of Top Chef. 160,206 in the mix, like the Dixie Chicks. What? I don't know. Don't look at me. That was my brain. Here we go. Moving on to Q4, knocking at your door. And call itself Batch Heads, Bachelor Nation, or Batchy Babies. I'm gonna guess B. 
Batch Hands Bachelor Nation or Batchy Babies? I don't know, but um, Rubber Baby Bucky Bubbles. They all they know all about fantasy suites. First impression roses and Chris Harrison's weird dad like persona. Hmm. Bachelor Nation, stand up! One hundred and ninety six thousand two hundred and nineteen. Yeah, okay. uh, a part of like the Bachelor Nation. Batch heads sounds weird. Be crying over the just dumb. So does Batchy Babies. And she wanna tell me about the Batchy or Baby! Everybody know that's mine. Okay. <laughs> this one's for the children! Ah, 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 ah. Question five. Question five. Ah, 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 ah. Question five. My voice is coming back. A little bit. Here we go. Q5. Which of these reality shows featured a contestant nicknamed Chicken George? The Bachelorette, Big Brother, or Survivor? Talking about Chicken George, y'all. Who's it gonna be? All right. Chicken George appeared on the very first season of Big Brother. In addition to the All Star shows, he was very lovable. Oh, wow. And you can't go wrong with a name like Chicken George. Come on now. Big Brother, 146,956. Got it right. Be proud of yourself. You are killing it. If you pick Survivor and you got that wrong, uh, don't, don't feel bad if you got to use extra life. That's what they're there for. So drop it like it's hot. All right, we're moving on to Q6. Here we go. Carrie Underwood won the season of American Idol that featured what other memorable contestant? Constance Maroulis, nope. Sanjaya Malaka, or Jennifer Hudson? I thought Jennifer Hudson won her year. Mm. Don't sleep on Sanjaya. That was for Paula. <laughs> he was an iconic contestant, but sharing the stage during group numbers with Carrie was Constantine Maroulis. Hmm. Constantine Maroulis. Oh my gosh, that's a savage AF question. That was savage AF. Yeah, nobody left. <laughs> Dang, but that's what extra lives are for, okay? And if you got a level, you are easy breezy. Easy breezy. Let What's that, 25,553? Y'all still in the game? Did, Boy, oh boy. Here we go, Q7. Who designed this dress on Project Runway? Take a look. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay, was it Jay McCarroll, Christian Siriano, or Austin Scarlett? Austin. That designed that dress that we just showed you. Austin. Moments ago. <laughs> it's number one on the list. The corn husk dress. Who knew dried up produce could produce such an incredible look? <laughs> Austin Scarlett did. He knew. Yes, Austin Scarlett. Oh, my goodness, again. Savage again. Savage question twice. I like peas rice. Yeah. 55,556. Got Austin Scarlett. Congratulations. You're moving on to question eight, babies. Let's go. Let's go to work. Let's go. Let's go to work. Ah, hit them with the shoulders. Here we go. Question eight. Which of these reality shows has the biggest single season monetary prize? Fear Factor, Big Brother, or The Amazing Race? Fear Factor? Mm -hmm. See people saying? What's it going to be? All right, the prize on Fear Factor like was a mere 50K. And you had to do some truly nasty stuff. Okay? On Big Brother, the prize didn't ever adjust for inflation since its premiere 21 seasons ago. $500,000. Right? Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, on Amazing Race, you get to travel, and if you win, you get a cool million dollars. Mm -hmm. The Amazing Race. 95069 Feeling fine, so divine, on the way to question nine. Yee, yeah, yee. Yeah. Here we go, babies. Follow me. Why don't you? Question nine. Which of these was not included in a room designed by Hilde Sandro Thomas on Trading Spaces? Mural of her own face, sand floor, or dried pasta wallpaper? I guess, I, I guess so. That just seems weird. 
All right, Hildy was incredible in that she truly didn't care about livability, comfort, taste, or design. She was also just doing whatever. Here's a mural. And, uh, and the sand floor. Hmm. Yeah, so the answer here is dried pasta wallpaper. Yeah. 61,046, got it right. Nice you came to play, I came to pay. We're on the way to eight. question number 10, my friends. Oh, Time to get it 10. in. Okay. Here we so go I guess again. not the face, then I pick the face. Who do you? So you do All right, babies. Q10. Which TV program showrunner appeared as a contestant on The Amazing Race and Survivor? Big Little Lies, Silicon Valley, or Enlightened? I want to see. Who's it going to be? Which TV program? HQ Mugs. What's a showrunner? Oh, they make coffee delicious, sir. More tasty food. Here we go. Mike White loves his CBS reality shows so much that he has appeared on both hit competition shows. In between making TV shows like Enlightened. Stop hogging all the reality TV slots, Mike. What are you doing? Oh, my gosh. That's a savage question. Oh. Savage question thrice. I still like peas and rice. Savage question thrice. That's the third savage question. Hit him with the shoulders. Mm, 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 mm. Make a gif. Go ahead. I'm kidding. Don't do that. You could if you want to. 25,154. Are moving on to the first prize of the evening, babies. Question number 11. So you get this one right. Not only do all dogs go to heaven, but you will be getting a little money from the flipper of money. Me. Yeah. Yee yee. Here we go. Question 11. At the time of the show, the Joe Millionaire Champion was a what? Substitute teacher, nurse, or real estate agent? Anyone? I want to. I don't know. Nom nom nom. Substitute teacher makes sense. All right. Or we all know Joe was Evan Marriott, no, right? No, no, no. A construction dude. But do you remember what? Do you remember what Zora, the winner of the season, did? Hmm? She was a substitute teacher. Oh. Apparently, they got along well, but just knew it wasn't right. Twenty-four thousand seven hundred seventy-nine. Y'all about to get a little chunk of change. That's right. How much money am I flipping? Cents? Nine cents to 24,779 players. Four questions till the next prize. You can still use extra lives. We letting you use them till question 17. Jelly bean. That's my cat. Hi, jelly bean. Jelly beans. She's adorable. Oh, I miss her so much. I can't wait to get out of here. But for now, I'm here to play and pay. Rescues. Let's get it. 9,920 of you decided to take nine cents. We still have 14,859 in the game right now. That's crazy. And we got four questions until the next prize. So let's mosey on, shall we? Question 12. What's that smell? Smells like here it is. Which creatures have not been included in a photo shoot on America's Next Top Model? Bees, crocodiles, or vultures? I guess bees. If you are a fan of ANTM, you know this. Tyra has made the models pose with countless creepy crawlies like bees and crocodiles. But as of yet, no vultures made the cut. Vultures still wait. Hey, Tyra, I know, Tyra, I know you play. All right. Put some, put some vultures on there. That was also a little bit savage. Woo! Here we go. Savage question song. Saw you got it wrong. Savage question song. Tyra Banks hates vultures. Yeah, give him a chance, Tyra. Dang. That's crazy. All right, here we go. Question 13. Let's get it. Which pop star was the cause of a physical fight between Jack and Kelly in the Osbournes? Madonna, Britney Spears, or Christina Aguilera? Who's it gonna be? The Osbournes... It was like the most popular MTV show of all time when it aired. For whatever reason, Kelly really hated Christina. And after Jack danced with her at a party, it was go time for fighting. Christina Aguilera, 7,278. Got it right. Sharon! Sharon, what is the kids that was getting my mother's fire? That was my Aussie impression. <laughs> Remember from which season of the 
representatives, Seattle, Chicago, or Boston. Wisconsin's seventh district. Good for him! People knew that. Park the car! Where's the car? I'm from New York, I'm sorry. 6,555. Got it right like some baked beans. And now we're going to shoulder lean. Hit the duggy at question 15. Here we go. It's another prize. Get it right. I flip some money to you. Here we go. What was Kelly's reaction to this line in Sue Hawk's iconic speech? You're very two-faced and manipulative to get where you're at anywhere in life. That's why you fail all the time. Was it? Hmm, interesting. That's not true. Or come on, Sue. What did Kelly say? What was Kelly's reaction? That's what we're trying to find out right now. This was the speech. No one expected Sue to drag Kelly and Richard so brutally. What do you say to someone who claims that you always fail at life? Hmm, interesting. 3,338. Got it right. And you know what's interesting? You're about to get some money. Hmm, interesting. 90 cents going out to 3,337 players. We got three questions till the next prize. What's it going to be? The choice is yours. You want to take the cash and dash or you don't want to stay and play? Let me know which way to go. All right. Yeah. 978 players chose to take 90 cents. The game. Three questions until the next prize. Y'all ready for this? All right, that was the last reality TV question for tonight. Congrats to everybody that answered all 15 correctly. Now it's time to move into the general knowledge portion of the game. You guys ready? Question 16. Let's get it in, my friends. Here we go again. Q16. What are the only two U.S. states whose names are spelled the same in Esperanto and English? Oregon, Michigan, Alaska, Florida, or Ohio and Idaho? Alaska, Florida, Talking, spelled the same in Esperanto and English. All right. Did y'all memorize all the U.S. states in Esperanto yet? Turns out you don't have to. Just know that they all end in the letter O. Mm. Oh, my gosh. The answer is Idaho and Ohio. Ohio and Idaho. Idaho, you the hoe. What you call me? 1,131. Got it right. Yee, yee. I just learned what Esperanto was today. I thought it was a type of car. Yeah, your driver will be arriving in a black Esperanto. Okay, remember, question 17 is your last chance to use an extra life in the game tonight. All right, let's go to work. Which politician's election helped popularize the phrase, may the fourth be with you? Ronald Reagan, Margaret Thatcher, or Jimmy Carter? Hmm. Okay. This started with a newspaper ad that said, May the 4th be with you, Maggie. Congratulations. Courtesy of the British Tories. Celebrating Maggie Thatcher. Margaret Thatcher, y'all. 1,031. Know how it's done. Ready for some fun. With money to be won. Well, let's see how it's done. Son or daughter. <laughs> Here we go. Question 18 is another prize. Let's get it. Okie dokie. Artichoke. Q18. Which of these companies was started after the founder went on a water sports holiday in Australia? GoPro, Airbnb, or TripAdvisor? Hmm. You ever go surfing in Australia? And you want to get some good pics, but the other uh, photographers can't get close? And good equipment's too expensive. This happens, right? Then, you know, the only thing to do is invent GoPro. Yeah. 784 of you got it right. Let's go make a decision. What's it going to be? Taking the cash and date, making a dash? $2.56 going out to 784 of you. The choice is yours. I will let you decide. 
Who's it gonna be? Come on, get with it. Here we go. 290 players decided to take $2.56. We got 494 still in the game right now. Three questions until the next prize. Let's go. Congratulations, everybody. They just got some money. I'm proud of you. Okay, here we go. Question 19. What is the context of this picture? Filming a scene, award nomination, or divorce signing? See, divorce signing. Hmm. What's it going to be? All right, check it out. We don't know the details of Nicole Kidman and Tom Cruise's divorce, but we do know that this is what Nicole looked like right after it was finalized. Divorce signing. Ah, she was happy as heck. <laughs> she was like, oh, yes, I'm free. I'm free. Freedom. 297 got it right. Look at y'all. Hip with what's happening. We're going to move on right about now to question 20. Here we go. Q20. Which of these famous architects also made developments in the field of blood transfusion? Frank Lloyd Wright, Christopher Wren, or Walter Gropius? Scoopy. All right, check it. Most famous for St. Paul's Cathedral. This guy got up to all kinds of stuff, like experimenting with canine blood transfusion. Christopher Wren was up to all kinds of mischief. Christopher Wren, 125 players, got it right. We're moving on to question 21. That's another prize. Last prize before the big old jackpot. Okie dokie. The big button has been very big. Here we go. Q21. Woo! Excited. Now when you get to oh question boy. 21, like All right, question 21. Yeah. Alfred Hitchcock made Psycho after a project with which star was abruptly canceled? Grace Kelly, Doris Day, or Audrey Hepburn? I guess Grace Kelly All right. The moment a lot of you are waiting for. Do you want to watch No Bail for the Judge? Well, you can't, because Hitchcock didn't make it after Audrey Hepburn dropped out. Which freed him up for Psycho. Audrey Hepburn, 35 play. Oh my gosh, that's a savage question. I'm not gonna sing it again. For 35 of you about to get some money flipped in your direction. $42.86 going out to 35 players. What's it gonna be? Are you feeling lucky? Huh? Are you? Look, shut up, money flipper. Of course I'm feeling lucky. But I'm also happy with $42.86. The choice is yours. Go good. 10 players still in. 25 players decided to take the $42.86. We still got 10 in the game with nine questions until the prize. Let's go. Let's go. I'm ready. Are y'all ready? I'm ready. Woo. My coffee just kicked in. Oh, boy. Woo. Iggity, aggity, boom, boom, snaggity. What? Shout out to Tony Woods. <laughs> Every time I see him, that's what he says. He's like, hey, what's up, Matt? Iggity, aggity, boom, boom, snaggity. Question 22. The original host of ABC's The Mole went on to win what award? Peabody, Grammy, or neither? Mm. Y'all remember The Mole on ABC? Mm. Anderson Cooper hosted the first season of The Mole and Celebrity Mole. And went on to win Emmys and a Peabody. You can't stop Anderson Cooper, so don't try it. Mm. Peabody, Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. three players These people were still like in the game. game. Oh yes. Funny. But chat lies after like oh, yes. question nine. You can't three players that. still in the game. We are now at question twenty-three. Here we go. Which of these cities was not formally named after a famous communist? Da Nang, Volgograd, or Chemnitz? Chemnitz. What's he gonna be? Da Nang, Volgograd, or Chemnitz? So many cities, so many historical communists, but the answer here is the town that roughly translates to opening of a large river. Danang! There's never a famous communist named after the opening of a, a large river that that would be ridiculous. 
Danang, babies. All three still in the place to be. Whoop de dee. I like this. This is why I do this job. You understand? You understand what I'm saying? This is why I come in every day and put on a tie and these tight pants. Mm -hmm. They're tight. Let's go. Question 24. Woo. Which magazine was not featured as a workplace setting in the hills or the city? Teen Vogue, Cosmopolitan, or Elle? What's the hills or the city? Alrighty. It was reality TV. So you know they had to figure out how to get some real business in there. Lauren Conrad and Whitney Port met at Teen Vogue. And Whitney went off to the city to work at DVF. But Olivia Pal Palermo, she did some time at L. No Cosmo. Mm. Ah, yes! What is happening now? This is crazy! This is crazy! Woo! Oh! Okay. All right. Y'all got this. I believe in you. You can go the distance. Let's go. Question 25. Oh, my God. I'm sweating from places I did not, I did not know I could sweat from. For a little context. Okay, dokie. Let's get it. Question 25. The phrase famous for 15 minutes is thought to come from a Warhol exhibition catalog distributed where? Barcelona, Stockholm, or New York? I guess New York. <sighs> okay, here we go. Do you know Andy Warhol's phrase, in the future, everyone will be famous for 15 minutes? Mm -hmm. We think it first appeared in the program for a 1968 exhibition of his work at the Moderne Musée. Musée. Yeah. Moder Moder Moderne Musée. Musée. In Stockholm, Sweden. Oh, they both got it wrong. Oh, oh my gosh. That's a savage question. Oh. I am, y'all, yo, that was, I got to go calm down. I got to sit down. Whew. Congratulations, you guys, for making it that far. So many winners tonight. Congrats to everybody. Enjoy those new points and levels. I've been your host, Matt Richards. Follow me on the socials. I had a lot of fun with y'all tonight. Come back tomorrow for some more trivia at 9 p.m. And then HQ Words afterwards at 9.30. It's going to be awesome. See, when we make it easier for y'all, y'all get closer and closer. I can't do the work for you. You got to win yourself. Win yourself. Yeah. Bye.